Hey everybody, so here's another product review from Paragraphics Modeling Systems. This time we're doing a twofer on the photo etch sets. Over here we've got the Lost in Space Space Pod and I'll be able to show you how some of those parts look with the model itself, no problem. Definitely some gorgeous looking work there. And over here this is uh, something of a preview sort of thing. It's on the market now. It's the Moonbus Photo Etch set, but the model itself that the Photo Etch corrects is not available yet. I wrote to Mobius a couple weeks ago hoping to be able to get a uh, review sample so we could do this simultaneously but it's going to have to wait until the model releases which could be another week or two from now. So uh, definitely take this as a preview on the photo etch itself and uh, it's definitely some gorgeous stuff. So when I have a model in my hands I will definitely uh, bring this back out again to uh, take a look at how well the parts go. But let's take a quick look at it as uh, we'll be going a little more in depth with the space pod itself. This is fairly standard uh, paragraphics packaging here. We got the sheet of photo etch itself, a uh, carded bag which protects the piece very well, and then a fold up set of instructions, usually two full pages or four sides rather. And uh, definitely pretty good. Standard, uh, Paul does this himself, Paul Bow of paragraphics and there's definitely a nice bit of work and it looks like there's a couple number swaps in here I just read through it really quickly so uh, whereas part 16 here is some handrails that go down looking over here part 16 is closest to these little round circles here whereas these little round circles are labeled part 15 there and part 15 here looks to be those. So that's not really any big deal. If you're doing this visually then that's not going to be a problem at all and I'm sure once the kit is out people will spot all the uh, typos if there are any others actually. And uh, Paul Bo will make corrections. You can always go to his website and look for some updated directions if anything does throw you at all. As to the photo etch itself, let's uh, swing the light around here and let me get some close focus that's not too bad at all really beautiful work as always everything's really nice and clean and tight the details you can get with this are just astounding like I said the kit itself won't be available for another couple weeks at worst so uh, hopefully I'll be able to show some of these parts with the kit itself so you can see how much more detailed this is going to be so we can get a little closer here so with those numbers there you can see part 15 and 16 are possibly swapped part 17 here is actually 16 uh, 15, 16 here is 15 and so on those are the only obvious ones that I really saw really quickly as I glanced over things. But like I say, that's really uh, minutia kind of stuff. And the level of detail this is going to bring to the kit overall is just going to be beautiful. So uh, again, instructions are, as always, done well. Get the focus going on there. Beautiful photo etch, as always. I just can't imagine how this is done. It's just beautiful work. I mean, I've seen the photo etch process, and uh, really, it just amazes me. So, uh, let's take a look at the space pod now. So, again, this is standard uh, paragraphics directions here. It's a little more simplified looking than the others, uh, insofar as the photos are fairly well regulated to one side, and all the directions are on the left, rather than being more of a patchwork, which is typical for models. Over here with the photo etch itself, let's take a look. Gorgeous piece of brass. Another gorgeous piece of brass. The kind of details you get with this are just simply impossible to get with plastic. Which is basically why there's a photo etch market to begin with. Now 
This is really going to add a lot of uh, realism to the kit itself. Make it look a lot bigger than it actually is. So for a few quick comparison shots, you've got this piece of brass here compared to that piece of plastic. And essentially, really, there is no comparison. And to further demonstrate that, a few of these pieces here replace that garbage there. And that's certainly not to uh, cause any disdain against the Mobius model itself. It's a nice little kit, but like I said, there are limitations to the plastic, and this is where they show up most. So all these pieces here will have to be scraped off completely. Like here's a good comparison, this top piece right there, there's a good size reference as well. Looks like that one goes right there. The photo watch is just always so much better. There's just no way around that. And over here, these uh, window frames are definitely going to look nice here. And finally, we'll take a look at the uh, decals. I should note that these are printed by JT Graphics, but they are designed by Paul himself. So he definitely does the entire operation start to finish as far as the actual... Uh, you know everything goes design wise so here we got the original set from the Mobius itself very simple nothing to it really but there's not a lot of decals on the ship itself however just the side by side I've got no doubts that the paragraphics decals here are that much more accurate just as far as logos and colors go We'll get in a little closer here. I don't think I'm going to get much closer than this. Uh, definitely some beautiful work there. And uh, definitely thanks to Paul over at Paragraphics for sending these along for review. It's definitely some beautiful work from him as always and certainly as expected as always. So if you're a 2001 fan, you can look for the Moonbus kit coming out in the next couple weeks, early mid-May of 2010. And if you get one, you definitely got to get this. This is definitely really good. There's one more aftermarket kit that I'll mention uh, because it's somewhat related. Stargazer over in the UK is producing an interior kit for this with all the seats and everything. And that's definitely one to look out for. Hopefully I'll be able to give you a review of that. Sorry, Paul, for mentioning it in your video here, but uh, I'm sure you understand what uh, Ian Walsh over at Stargazer, all the great stuff he's doing, and you won't mind. Over here with the Lost in Space, you can get this kit for the last couple years, and this photo etch is definitely a really great addition to that. Can't recommend Paul's work enough, definitely, because uh, it's just really beautiful stuff. He's a professional designer, and it really shows through in the quality. So, thanks for watching as always. This has been another Model Man Review. See ya.